Okay, hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be creating a Next.js app and adding OpenAI and Langchain to it to create a little bit of a chatbot. And this is how it'll work. So you can talk to it, say, hey, you know, what's the capital of Thailand? Submit that, and that'll work great. Cool. So, how are we going to start? First thing we're going to do is um, create a Next.js app and go to Next.js and just start an app and we're going to be using the pages directory, okay? Not the new app directory. And um, once you get that started, you can go ahead and add Tailwind to your project if you want to make it look nice. Um, but I'm going to leave a lot of the front end stuff to you guys. I'm not the best front end developer. So I'm actually not the best developer at all, period. <laughs> anyway, um, you're going to end up with a empty project and you'll have an index file and you're going to want to remove everything. And I've just added a chat component to it. Okay, and I'm importing it here. And I created the chat component here and an API route. And they're both called chat. I'm not sure if that's bad, bad practice or whatever. It's probably fine. It's going to be okay for this example. Let's focus on the um, uh, API route here. So we're going to import the chat model um, and callback manager. And these are some prompt stuff that's that's useful. We're, this is the important function here. The Langchain callbacks, which are you know some hooks that you can you can use to 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 sort of hook into a stream or to, and, and get some information about events, right? So what we're going to be doing here is something called um, we're going to be server server side sending, which is sort of like WebSockets, I think. Uh, I know you can't go both ways like WebSockets, but it's similar. Um, and we're basically going to be streaming the responses as they come. Now there's a lot of examples that actually do this in Next.js and they use OpenAI, not Langchain. So that's the difference here. We're using Langchain and the callback managers to uh, send the responses. So let's go ahead and take it from the top here. We imported these, these things here, callback manager. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, write these headers. Okay, these are important. So it sort of knows what we're doing, what kind of data we're sending. Then we're going to create a little helper function. It can be called whatever you want. I called it send token, which is we're going to write the data that's passed into it. Okay, and we're going to use that in a second in the callback manager. Here we're going to instantiate our chat model, chat open AI, bring in the uh, API key, which um, I imported up here, and then use callback manager from Langchain, from handlers. And then there's a couple of uh, a couple of functions here that you're going to want to know. So we're going to use handle LLM new token. So when a new token comes in, we're going to be doing something. And what are we going to be doing? We're going to be using our send token function, which is going to write, okay, right here. So token, we're passing in the token and, and using it in this function here, okay? Now let me go ahead into the front end and you guys can see how this is getting uh, the data. I'm actually printing it out here. Actually, I'll show that when we, when we go to the front end. But um, here you can also use use this here to uh, to hook into to when it's done streaming. Then we're simply going to call it, okay? And pass in the question from the front end and then we'll call end to to close, okay? And I'm pretty sure you can do probably res.send here, but let's just leave it as is. Great. Okay, now, as I said, the real meat and potatoes here is this callback manager. Um we're using the send token function to send the data. Great. This is getting streamed as a I believe a readable stream. Now let's go ahead and check out the front end here. Um, you know what, um, let me look at the server here and uh, I'll just show y'all. Okay, so write a short poem about cats. Now, let's go over here and as you can see, I'm printing these out and then sending. So printing should show up in the console. Let's run it and quickly switch to it. And you can see it's coming in, it's coming in and wrote a, wrote a poem, beautiful. And we use Langchain, not just OpenAI for this. And you can see here, it's also on the front end. So how are we getting that on the front end? Okay, so now we've created this sort of readable stream, which we can grab on the front end. Um, and there's a lot of front end stuff here. And as I said, I'm not the best at React or front end stuff in general, but I'll put this up on GitHub and you guys can modify it as you wish. So let's go ahead to the important stuff here, which is right here where we're making a fetch to the chat endpoint here and passing in a question. And then right here, you can see that we get the response to that body is a readable stream. And let's, I, oh, actually we are console logging that. So it should show up here as readable stream. There it is, readable stream, line 51, that looks right. Great, we're reading from that stream and in a loop. So um, here we got while true, while there's still stuff to be read, keep going, if not break. And then we're gonna decode them and use some stuff from react uh, use effect and use state to basically update the um, 
the messages. And again, you feel free to change this, probably not done in the best way. And you can probably memoize stuff and what and whatnot. Um, but just an example here. Then you're gonna release the reader. And you know, to be honest, that's pretty much it. The rest is just sort of UI stuff in React. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, I hate to have gone to this point and give you guys some bad news about how this will work great locally. But when it comes to deploying on Vercel, which is naturally what you do with Next.js, you're going to have an issue. Okay, and I want to pull up this project here called uh, Twitter by. You might have seen it. And if you can see, it's deployed. And if you can see, I'm running it and it's, whoop, uh, 22 year army veteran. Let's just check this out. And you can see it's streaming. Now, what's the difference in here and with our project? Okay, so we're streaming on local, but when we deploy this, it won't be streaming, right? Um, you're just gonna have to trust me, it just won't work. There's a lot of stuff going on with LangChange.js now. And at first I thought it might have been um, totally Vercel, which it still might be. Um, Cause I wanna pull this stuff here where you can now stream on their edge functions, which is very cool. Um, but it's a little bit different. You got to create some streams and, and you know manipulate them. And I think a lot of this stuff is happening on the Langchain side, right? And because we're hooked into Langchain here, uh, there's got to be something. Maybe they're using Axios with OpenAI or something. But we're not really getting what we need here to to make this as simple as possible. And right now. Um, I don't want to go too far in trying to do my own hacky solution, maybe with generators or transforming the stream, because I have a feeling, and if we go to the uh, Langchain uh, GitHub, everyone is talking about this, okay? Everybody wants this to, to, to become a thing, and so you can go ahead and check the issues there, and you'll see a lot of uh, discussion about that. It seems some people have maybe succeeded with the, with the, with the uh, server, server sent events, let me zoom in here, but um, it's still still using the OpenAI completions. It's not really using Langchain yet, but um, I have a feeling this will be solved very soon. So if you're watching this, uh, not today, I'm probably gonna have another video on my channel where I do this with um, the edge functions and uh, maybe even the new app directory in Next.js. But um, anyway, I'll leave it there for now. This chatbot is, um, you know, what's your name? Is a very simple uh, Langchain sort of chain, right? It just talks back to you. It's basically just the OpenAI uh, Turbo, I think, probably. Talking back, there's no agents, there's no memory, but you could very easily add all that stuff here now uh, by chaining these up and creating a more complicated chain. Um, but I'll leave it there and um, let me know what you guys think and if anybody figures out deploying to Vercel uh, to the edge functions with the streaming working, awesome. Let me know how that goes. I'm probably gonna give it a bit of a shot and then maybe even contribute to the, to the project if nobody's uh, if, if it hasn't happened yet, but we'll see. I, th I have a feeling um, this is going to be very soon, maybe in the next day or two. I'm sure someone's working this on this as we speak. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, very exciting stuff. Everything in the same app, uh, length chain added. So stoked to see where we go from here. I'll add more functionality to this and maybe we'll throw it together in the next video. All right, guys, see you guys in the next one. Bye.